Okay. Is it week six? Week six. Here we go. I brought a basket because I'm gonna harvest the rest of the radishes because they're done, they're bolting, you'll see. Oh, it's so muddy. We've had so much rain, yuck. But things are looking good here in the potager. Um, I think all the, I guess the daily downpours of rain haven't hurt the plants. Um, I guess because they're in a raised bed, things are still draining really well. If anything, I think it's helped my herbs because things have stayed consistently moist, which is uh, what I needed. So, um, let me turn the camera around and let's see what's going on. So, look at my Plumeria pudica. I mean, it has leafed out gorgeous. And actually, I think that plum sucker is gonna make it. And I did fertilize the containers before I knew all this rain, you know, when I knew all this rain was coming. So I think that has helped and I'm hoping to get some bloom soon. I don't see anything yet. Um, and of course, Graham Thomas, that bloom just bloomed itself out the day after filming, the day after, because that's how we do things. Um, but I see another bloom here. I am hoping one of these days soon, I will get a mass of blooms and not just onesies and twosies, but we'll see. Um, cat mint, still need to take some cuttings, have not done that yet. And I think I will cut it back. Um, this has been blooming for a while, I guess. That's almost six weeks. Um, that one, like that is really blooming out hard. Um, also, um, coleus is starting to grow. This mound is like, it's getting fuller, filling out more. And we're gonna get some flowers on the lantana. So that is pretty, finally. This lantana is awake and ready to bloom. Um, my bachelor button seedlings are getting bigger. Just waiting to see some bachelor buttons there. Um, my tomatoes over here, the Dr. Witchy's yellow and the Cherokee purple, those are getting bigger. This one is actually gonna try to make some flowers, so that's cool. That's nice. Um, I already have a flower on my, um, my white patty pan. I think that is a male. Yep, yeah, those are male flowers there. And then this other one here, but they're doing great. My salvia, it's got some side shoots going on, looking good. I have um, another bloom on the zinnia. That's opening up. This one, I probably, I haven't cut it off yet, I need to, and I need to get rid of some of these leaves with that rust issue, but um, more blooms. Next week, we should have a lot more blooms for the tour. Still need to move that eggplant there that's getting swallowed up. These eggplants are finally starting to get more size on them. Happy about that. My habanero peppers are getting bigger. I think these are the only ones of my peppers that haven't flowered yet. And look at my jalapenos. Look at there, jalapeno. Jalapeno. Another jalapeno. So we have peppers. So excited, so excited. And these plants are still kind of small. They're maybe five inches tall, maybe less, maybe six inches, I don't know. So I'm looking forward to getting lots and lots of jalapenos. And then this little tub of herbs, all this rain, look how wonderful, there's little green things. Now this row here, I don't see any common thyme, but I know for sure I've got lemon balm and the Texas hummingbird mint, so that's good. Um, and I do have some holy basil, holy basil there and there. And I have some, see that little green there? That is German chamomile. And I thought I saw some oregano, yep. There's some of the Vulgaria oregano. And then this lemon balm is really perking up. Nice. My yarrow, Achillea, spreading out nice. Even my tansy over there is getting bigger. Love it. And um, we're gonna get some blooms on the uh, Maid of Orleans Jasmine. That won't focus. There we go. Pretty. Okay, so coming around this way, the okra. Has already got um, 
set of true leaves going on. We also have some leaves being eaten there. And here on my California Wonder, dang it, um, sweet Alyssum going banana pants. And we have some Cosmos, look at that. This is Summer Dreams, pretty, lots of buds. My Cosmic Orange have a bud there. And the foliage, look how the foliage is so much different. This is real airy fairy and light. This is a little bit thicker. And then Fizzy Rose Picati, I don't see any buds yet, but it also has that ferny, ferny foliage on that. The uh, Carnival Blend, lots of flowers coming on the Carnival Blend. The Lesia Pepper, I have little babies. There, that's the Lesia. So pretty. I don't know if I have any Cubanelles yet. I think that might be one starting there, Cubanelle. Um, these, I don't remember the name of this zinnia. Where's my tag? Oh, uh, Giants of California. So I'm expecting some big flowers. The plants themselves aren't that tall, so we'll see. Um, but I do have a sweet banana pepper. Look at that. So that's going to get picked today. That is ready. Oh, and I have several more. Look at there. Didn't even notice those. Cuteness. All right, so we are in the banana pepper business right now. And then um, my Borlato bush beans. Could probably pick a few of those. Those look good. And I did eat some raw. They are so tasty. Very delicious. And look at my Borlato bush beans. No, wait, wait, wait rattlesnake pole beans look they're climbing so that just happened this week they are climbing and the color looks so much better in here too so I can probably take off this old foliage that was suffering so much because we have refoliated um, this one over here all the old foliage has fallen off um, and it's starting with new foliage so that's good but yeah these are climbing I don't see any flowers. I haven't really inspected this yet, but I'm just happy it's healthy. Um, asparagus, still the same. I do have a new, a new shoot came up earlier this week and that's gonna flower out, so that's good. Um, over here, I did plant um, some seeds since it was raining and I see some of them have sprouted. Um, I did a French dwarf mixed marigold that sprouted. Right there, that's the marigold. So that's, oh yeah, everywhere. All the marigold sprouted, so that's good. Um, I did also sprinkle in some more chives. Um, so I have some garlic chives here, but I had a packet of chive seeds, and so I sprinkled those in here. Um, Patterson Panache Frenchy French is doing good. Even the new seeds that I planted, those seedlings look great. Um, some yarrow here. Look at this, this has really bounced back. This is my um, Dwarf Alaska Mix uh, Nasturtium. Um, the leaves have bounced back. I don't know if it's all the rain um, or the you know constant cloud cover or the lower temperatures, but it's really bouncing back and gonna have a lot more bloom. So love the variegation, love it. Um, all of the squash is doing really well. Lots of flowers, mostly male. And I was reminded by a friend on Facebook, I can pick these males and um, stuff them and saute them or deep fry them even. What is that? That is a pesky pest. No, no, no. Okay. Um, so anyway, we have some squash here. I'm not sure if that one got pollinated. Um, there's another one here that I have pollinated. I think yesterday but I don't have any like big squash yet the one I had covered um, in that organza bag last week did not pollinate it fell off but I think this one did get pollinated the flowers already fallen off and it's still big and shiny uh, it's actually a lot bigger than yesterday so I think we're good there we might get some squash soon but yeah, some of these male flowers, I do need to harvest them. Um, and the males are the ones without the fruit at the base. So this is a male flower here, but those can be stuffed and cooked. 
All right, this yarrow is going banana pants. Nice. Let's see. Oh, I love that squash over there. Um, looks like these giant cactus zinnia, I'm gonna get a bloom. So that should be coming soon. I've never grown the cactus type before. Um, Brad's Atomic Grape, finally getting some fruit on this side, on like this row of tomatoes. Pretty much almost all of my fruit set has been on this back row, which is really odd, but that's where all the flowers started. That's what's going on. Um, some of them may be almost ready. I'm just waiting for, I think, a little more red color. Those have been green and purple for a long time. I, I don't know if they're ready. Maybe I need to squeeze them. It's my first time growing them. Uh, beets, actually beets are doing pretty good. I am surprised. I have never grown a full-size beet before. I've planted seeds many times, never gotten an actual beet, so I'm excited. This radish, I'll tell you, this radish is bolting. <laughs> it has seriously bolted. So that's why I wanna go ahead and pick them today. Now the flowers are pretty. I didn't realize they were so pretty. Pretty flowers. I don't see much of a radish in here. Um, let's see. Yeah, we didn't even really make a radish right there. So I will be pulling everything today. So that's coming out. Um, some of them look really nice. Like those are some really nice ones. Really nice ones in there. So that's why I brought my basket. I'll pick those. I'm gonna see, I did bring my toothbrush out in case I see any new flowers that I can pollinate, hand pollinate. So the lily put mixed colors, come on. Look at this cuteness with these little baby zinnias. These cute little babies. How cute is that? If I could focus, look at that. Yeah, one of my favorite things I've grown of veg or flower. One of my favorite things is this lily put mixed color zinnia. And then the, the giant lily put here with all these multiple heads. Looks like another head is gonna bloom. Just the cutest thing. Grapes are getting bigger. Super excited about that. And then I may pick some of these mustard greens. Uh, Red Giant mustard, they're getting big. And I'm getting some bigger tomatoes. This is uh, black crim. As you can see in the bag, there's black crim. Looking good. Um, I had I do have flowers um, on the brandy wine. There's a brandy wine. Um, this vintage wine here, got a tomato. Looks like it's gonna have some cat facing on it, which that's fine. Um, anyway, that's a good size. We're getting there with the tomatoes. Um, Super Sweet 100 cherry tomato. Got quite a few trusses protected. I did see, um, I found a stink bug yesterday, so I'm gonna have to watch these. I haven't been able to spray with neem or anything because it's been raining, like it's been nonstop raining and it would just wash it off, so. There's another tomato there. This is another uh, black crim. Actually, that first one I showed you might be black from Tula. So I have black from Tula and black crim. But anyway, this is black crim. And my cardinal basil is doing fantastic. I did sprinkle some sweet basil seeds the other day. Um, I mean, I'm just trying to take advantage of the rain. Because it was raining, I just started direct sowing some seed. These zinnias, this is the queen lime. Still anticipating those blooms because those are some of my favorites. And then over here, we have polar bear. So hopefully something will come out of those soon. Now look at these ants. These ants are all over in my garden beans. But I do have beans, look at there. Yeah, I guess they're getting the nectar out of the flowers maybe. And inadvertently pollinating, I don't know. Anyway, that's fun. But there's some beans, not quite ready. That one might be ready. I could plant some more bean seeds, I guess. Then my Roselle hibiscus, it's still kind of sitting there right now. I think it's just getting its roots in. 
The tansy's doing great. That tansy's getting good size. And then that right there, that is going a little banana pants and we have a flower. So that's my small Persian. But I'll look closer at that when we get to the other side. The strawberries hate me. Those strawberries do not care about me at all. So these have been planted and the crowns are above, only the roots are below. These have been planted for what, a month now? Nothing, nothing. I think they just rotted and died. They don't care. Oh well, whatever, whatever. Look at all that water. I need to pour that out today because mosquitoes as rainwater. Let's see, Cosmos here. This is the Fizzy Rose Piketty. Here we go, look at there. We're gonna get a bloom. So hopefully by this time next week, you'll see some Fizzy Rose Piketty. And then, uh, what's that? That's some more Queen Lime Zinnia there. And then the little teddy bears. These little teddy bears here have started to make a head on them. And they are literally like two inches tall. That's hilarious, but whatever you gotta do. That's fine. And I'll look at, we'll look at the cucumbers when I go on the back side. Onions, just doing their thing. Have some more cosmic orange uh, cosmos back there. Uh, blue boy back for buttons are mixed in. No blooms yet. Um, this looks like some dewberry, some thorny dewberry. I'm gonna have to, oh, yeah, take that out. Wildflower, cut flower mix. That's just kind of slowly doing its thing. Um, this Albamosa sagifolus hibiscus is getting some interesting colors, but it's not really growing. <laughs> it's just kind of sitting there. That's cool. But this uh, cypress vine, I think this is the cypress vine. That is or cardinal vine. I don't know, but it's starting to climb up the pole. So that's good. And then down below it here, this is the moonflower vine. So that's going to start vining up as well. Same over here. So that's what's going on there. That one's climbing up nice. Let's see, my potato's doing great. Give me a chair. So that potato, I think it's going to be just fine. Lots of mushrooms. Lots of mushrooms. Oh, this broccoli, I'm not broccoli, Brussels sprout. I am so proud of this little thing. This was just a little sad, leggy, you know, bent seedling in a plastic cup and look at it. There's another load down there. But yeah, I'm super proud. Hardly any pests. I think they're getting this leaf here, but um, it's doing great. Which as soon as it quits raining, we're supposed to get rain this afternoon again. And then after that, I'm gonna come out here and spray. No, it's gonna rain tomorrow. Never mind. Scratch everything I said. Uh, kale, doing great. Catmint is really taking off. Look at that catmint. It's really growing and spreading. Super happy with that. And then this coleus rainbow mix that I grew from seed. It's getting so much bigger. There's a color there. That's pretty. And then there's going to be flowers on this lantana over here too. And then over here, my Pandora vine. I think it's finally getting rooted in because it's looking much more like glossy and invigorated. It just looks invigorated. And I think there's two new sprouts, two shoots coming in right there. And then this, look at this passion vine. It was growing over by my river birch beside the house. It was coming up through the mulch and I'm like, no, 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 you can't come up there. So I just ripped it out, took off the lower leaves and stuck it in this dirt and it is rooted. And it's only been what six days it's rooted and it's already got its tendrils and it's ready to climb so i'll have passion vine up here now pandora vine <laughs> the double tie butterfly that blue pea vine and look at this look at my birdhouse gourd it's gone banana pants and it's already got tendrils hooking on I think I might see some flower buds. I mean, we're just ready for business right there. That's fun. Also fun thing, I still need to plant that shrub. Don't look at that. And, and then this is doing great too. Okay, what I wanna show you is down here. Um, when my niece Bella was over here and we were picking nasturtiums and eating them, I had picked, up, picked a stalk. 
and I ate all of the leaves off of it. And I just stuck the stalk in the ground here, just in this bucket. It's grown new leaves. Look at that. So apparently you can take nasturtium, break off a branch, stick it in the ground and it will root and you'll have more nasturtiums in the same season without having to start from seed. So there you go. You may have already known that, but I didn't. <laughs> so, that's cool. All right, let's see what's going on from the outside. There's some fun stuff. Oh, and I have some syngonium in a pot that's been hanging there for a while. Seems to really enjoy it right here. It's kind of shady and junky. But I gotta keep mosquito spray out here. It's so bad. Okay. So this moonflower doing wonderful. I love how the leaves just sort of change on you. Like you get this weird like angular leaf when you start out and then you get like a pointy leaf and now we're getting some like rounded leaves. It's the same plant. Um, my cucumber Richmond green apple getting really big. Really big. This one is a giant and we've got lots of tendrils and things that need to grab on right there that's good and then the jasmine and the little piece that i you know ripped off when i was wrecking this plant that is sprouted so now i have two jasmine excited tansy um this sunflower is almost as tall as me now uh, roselle hibiscus is kind of uh it's kind of angling out this way to try to get away from it to get out from under its shade so i'm not quite sure what to do about that um honestly i should have planted that roselle more towards like over here um noted for next year no new flowers right now i mean there's plenty of buds but no uh no new flowers right now look at all these sunflowers they're almost they're above my hip height for sure so my sunflower forest is doing great. Um, we do have heads forming. Nice. Then I have that little Swiss chard in there. Still, you know, doing his thing. But all these sunflowers. And then we have um, this table queen acorn squash with so many flowers. All oh, the mosquitoes are bad back here. I'm glad I'm sprayed up. Is that a bee? That is a bee. Yeah, he's just hanging out. That's so cool. Yeah, he's just gonna hang out there, so I'm gonna leave him alone. You go ahead and pollinate all my stuff. Anyway, I don't see any female flowers yet, just males, that's cool. But a lot of flowers, wow. Very pleased. Oh my goodness, this flat white boar. Flat white boar. This is training down onto the ground, so I need to, oh, and it's already locked itself on there. What I want to do is train this up a little bit and have it go up and sideways, like not down on the ground. But we have lots and lots. Wow, even just since yesterday, I think this has grown quite a bit. Um, and there are several plants in here. This is not one, this is probably four, four or five. I don't remember how many I planted now. But anyway, we're doing great, flowers. Finding, this is the big one here. This is all one, and it's starting to get into my sunflowers here. I've been trying to move it up this way. Okay, so I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna zip tie it like up here. So I'll come back and do that after this tour. Anyway, I'm looking for flowers. Looking for female flowers, cause they should have like a little bitty pumpkin at the base, but I don't see any right now. Anyway, more sunflowers doing wonderful doing wonderful there's the beans and then this grape that is just sad Russian mammoth same as in the other corner I don't think I said it's a Russian mammoth I mean literally it's almost as tall as me so that's good something is doing something with the leaves I don't know what that is but as soon as it dries up I'll spray this watermelon has finally woken up this is that blacktail mountain um, it's so small, like it really struggled. We should be like where that flat white boar is. We should be at that stage by now, but it's coming back. So I have a few there. This is the biggest one. I have a few. 
Um, this is my Waltham butternut. This is really stretching out. It looks like um, there's some buds there. Those along the stem, those little round things, little buds. So that's cool, but it is reaching for here and hopefully it'll latch on and climb up. Um, those little fuzzy sprouts there. Sorry. Those are my um, giant fennel. No, not fennel. Dill. Dill. That's dill. All these tomatoes, so many. These are all Brad's Atomic Grape in here. And uh, just protecting them from the bugs. Oh yeah, look at this one. It's black crim. I think this is my biggest tomato right now. Very nice, very nice. Oh, that's a nice tomato. Um, another one here, black crim. And of course I have my grape and my yellow pear. They're kind of married, <laughs> married together. Some yellow pear there. And you can see how fat these grapes are getting. So excited. There's more yellow pear. Lots of yellow pear and super sweet 100. But look at the lychee tomato. Besides having grown like what feels like six inches since last week, we now have open flowers. Aren't those flowers interesting? Very much a nightshade looking flower instead of the modern tomato looking flower. And there are thorns everywhere. There's even thorns on the flower stalks, the flower spikes. So that is a thorny beast. This grape is doing great. The damage is not as bad as on the other side, but I will spray again. There's my Persian. My Persian melon, I do have flowers. I don't see any females yet, any female flowers. But there's my Persian cantaloupe. And then on my muncher cucumber, lots of flowers, lots of pollinating happening. I see lots of little, little bugs flying around. And then, hallelujah, hallelujah. Look at my cucumelon. Finally, finally, cucumelon decided to join the party and have a little tendril there. So hopefully that will latch on to this cattle panel. Anyway, that's wonderful right there. Um, this is my uh, miniature white cucumber, lots of flowers. And then this is my Richmond green apple over here. We have some tendrils, tendrils coming. Yeah, looking good. Okay, so. Because I have apparently a budworm issue and I can't spray till it quits raining, um, a lot of my rosebuds, this is the orange rose. I think it's brandy, I don't know. It was mislabeled. It was labeled as a yellow rose, but it's orange. Two big, beautiful buds. They are covered. Um, I probably won't take the cover off for a day or two until they're ready to open up. My Russian sage just is not taking off. It is just not happy here. I don't know if it, I mean, it. It's not really wet here. I mean, it is now because of the rain, but it's been struggling before that. I don't know if it needs brighter sun, but this is a really dry spot. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Um, artichoke looking good. Yesterday, these leaves were laying on the ground, almost all of them, and I thought it had died like from root rot because it's so wet over here right now. Um, there was actually standing water in here the other day. So much water. There are waves. Waves in the potage. Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's real deep here. That is a few inches deep there. Yeah. Ew. Um, it was awful. It was so wet over here. Um, but it's perked up today, so I guess it's good. Um, the uh, Golden Edge Duranta looking beautiful. And look at these mums. They are blooming. Beautiful. And then I put baggies on uh, St. Patrick, but butworms still ate it. 
so I guess he was already in the bag. I like already on the stem when I bagged it up. But as you can see, the, the rose, it's a yellow rose, but it has like a green tint to the rose. It's very pretty. This one's better. This one I think is going to be more pristine. But you can see the rose is yellow, but it's like a greenish yellow. Love it. And then I had to put little baggies on my miniature pinks because I was getting budworms in there. Grody. Um, yeah, just fell off. But the new bloom should be okay. That one, so pretty. Yeah. Moms are doing good. These are, the golden edge is doing good. I have some more yellow roses coming. Um, that one got eaten by budworms. Got more. Look at those mums. Look how pretty that is. Nice. That golden edge, Duranta, has really shot up, and I think that's where I'll take the cuttings, right there. Some of these blooms are already spent on the mums, especially those first ones. Those are the very first ones that started to butt up. Those down there in the mud. But yeah, it's looking great. It's so big now. Remember how small these were? Nice. This rose is doing good. Still getting eaten by budworms, but there's a few... Um, there's a few that I've tried to save and some more coming. I need to go ahead and bag those up. Um, this, I'm going to say, that is my smallest artichoke. That one there. This one is starting to catch up with uh, Big Mama over there. So this is the smallest. This Look at this Russian sage. It's just not doing anything. And then this rose is starting to leaf back out after some major budworm damage. But we're getting some new foliage. I'll get out here and spray soon. And shocker, I still have not planted that Concord grape. I know. Shocking. But anyway, everything looks good. Super excited. So that is week six. All right, everybody. It's another long video. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.